Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Today I'm going to show you how to cook perfect floppy quinoa and fried rice quinoa. Let's get started! <laughs> I got this tricolor quinoa from Trader's Joe, but you can find this in any supermarkets. I'm just going to cook one cup. I'll wash this and soak for 30 minutes. If you have more time, you can soak it longer than 30 minutes. After soaking, just drain this and then we're going to boil. In order to achieve the fluffiness of the quinoa, we have to know the ratio. So one cup of quinoa, we will use two cups of water. If you use too much water, your quinoa will be so mushy. Cook your quinoa uncovered for about 15 minutes. When it starts to boil, decrease the heat a bit to maintain a gentle simmer. Cook until the quinoa has absorbed all of the water. Once the water is all absorbed, we're going to remove it from the heat. Let's cover this and let the quinoa stem for 5 minutes. This will help the quinoa open up and it's nice and fluffy. I'm just going to season with salt and then I let this quinoa cool down. It's cooled now so I'm just going to put this into a pan and then chill it in the refrigerator for an hour before I cook my fried rice quinoa. The leftover quinoa can be refrigerated for four to five days. Now if you are on a low-carb keto diet, quinoa is not allowed. For my quinoa fried rice, I have here spinach and kale and then I also have chunk carrots, garlic, ginger, onions, green onions, and the onion leaves for garnishing. Heat the oil. I use um, olive oil here. And then let's just saute the green onion. Just saute until translucent. Then we're gonna put the garlic. This brings so much flavor on your fried rice quinoa. Carrots. Let's just cook this for about two minutes. Ginger. Let's just cook this a little bit. I got my quinoa from the fridge and I will stir it in and cook for a few more minutes until quinoa is heated through. Mix to combine. Just mix well. Pins of salt, well, just a little salt because later on we're gonna put soy sauce. Let's place this on the side so we have place for our egg to cook. So I have two two eggs beaten. Do not you do not mix your quinoa 
into the egg until it's not fully cooked. It will make your quinoa mush. The egg is cooked now. We're going to mix our quinoa with the egg. Let's mix well. Then our spinach and kale. We're just going to combine this. We're just going to cook this until the leaves are wilted. You can add more salt or soy sauce and then let's add the green onion tops and this is ready to serve. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet. Like, comment and share. Until next time, bye!